Hey church, great to be with you. Think back to a recent family reunion. There were probably these two characters that were there. One relative, probably the awkward weird cousin, the one you chose to avoid altogether, right? Because you're not really sure who he is, what he's into, where she, where, what she's into. They're, they're just kind of weird, so you'd rather just avoid them altogether, right? Keep them over there, I'll stay over here. Or maybe there's the second relative, the second character, the one you just can't get enough of. You can't wait to go to this family reunion because you want to spend time with them, hear what they've been up to, hear their stories. You just love being with them while you avoid the other one altogether. Now, sadly, one of these caricatures is the way that we also treat the Holy Spirit. Many Christians would rather just leave him alone altogether. We don't understand him. We're not sure why he's here. We're not sure where he is. We're not sure what he's doing. So rather than engaging and trying to learn who he is, we'd rather just leave him alone. Or some Christians treat him like everything. We don't really talk about the Father. We don't talk about the Son. Everything is about the Spirit and the gifts of the Spirit. And I'm sure there's a middle ground somewhere healthy between the two. This weekend in Romans chapter 8, we're going to dive into a study on the Holy Spirit. And while it's not a total theological expose on who the Spirit is, we're certainly going to dive in and learn who He is at least a little bit. Romans chapter 8, verse 9 says this, You, however, are not in the flesh but in the Spirit, if in fact the Spirit of God dwells in you. So this weekend, that's what we're talking about. Who is the Holy Spirit? Where is the Holy Spirit? And what is the Holy Spirit doing? Hope to see you there.